checking my teeth and we're ready I'm using a spoolie and an eyeliner and brush this is a black gel from Juvia's Place I'm getting ready to do my eyebrows and get them all shipped so we can play with some makeup so today I just wanna I haven't used that gel in a long time so I'm just shaping my brow with it I put nothing else on my brow just the gel and I'm just showing you the gel and then I take it off and then I just shape my eyebrows I'm trying to grow back my eyebrows so I'm trying to fix it with the gel so I don't have to keep cutting it all off. I'm trying to grow it just so I can see how my eyebrow look before. This is it. I'm using the Makeup Revolution White Eye Base and I am gonna put that over my eyes before I apply my eyeshadow. It dries matte but I have oily lids. I'm using a brush to smooth it all out and get it even on my puffy hooded eyes. <laughs> this is hooded eyes for you. I have puffiness and a flap. I have to open up my, I have to fix my eyes that way in order to get the base to sit properly. All done. Two flat brushes, that's what I'm using today. And I'm just making sure you can see they are two flat brushes. Now Now I'm just starting with my first color and that first color is called the first color I'm starting with is Hoska Castle I hope I didn't butcher that up it is the second color in the palette and it is a gold and I'm pointing it on my right eye, which will be your left when you're watching this video. And one thing you got to remember if you have that palette or that formula, it is really soft. So when you put your fingers in there or your brush, be gentle because if you, if you just go in and dig in, you will end up with like a nice dent in there. But the color is very pretty. I call it the old gold. I call it the old gold because that's what it reminds me of. And I'm just putting that all over my eyes. See, this is what it looks like on my finger. It is very pretty. As you know, if I use my fingers, I usually go in with a brush. If I use a brush, I usually go in with my finger because I want more of a pop. When I use my finger, it gives me more of a vibrant color. That's why I like to do, I'll use both or sometimes I'll just use my fingers and I'm just putting it over by the brow bone and trying to get the complete eye covered with that gold color which is called H H O U S K A Castle and that's the second color in the Nomad eyeshadow palette Haunted Europe. Now I'm just smoothing it to make it look a little more presentable not blending it well i'm blending it to make it look more seamless now the second eye which is my left which will be your right when watching this video i'm using another gold and this gold is called Boogeyman. And that's from the Haunted Europe palette by Nomad. And that color is 
a gold also but it has like a little bit of pink in it like a rose gold pink it has a shift it is so so pretty it is gorgeous so now i'm just taking the brush and laying the color down on my left eye which will be your right while watching it and as you will see in a few minutes i'll be using my finger to finish i'm using the brush to lay the color down first and then i go in with my i take my finger and then i apply the color to make it look more vibrant and the color does have a shift as you can see so now what this is looking like i have two gold colors on my eyes and now i'm using this brush the flat brush just to blend it and make it look seamless it is a pretty pretty gold i love it it with that shift that little pink shift it is just pretty blend 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 just blending okay now i'm gonna use the black radiance finishing powder as my base today so this is what i'm putting on my face and that'll be my base <laughs> i use the powders different ways it's a finishing powder but it gives me enough coverage a light coverage for a powder base and i like it so i'm just putting it all over with a sponge the white stuff on my face is from my CeraVe moisturizer the one that have the white cast I did a video on that check it out on my channel at simply you makeup now I'm done I'm just fixing my hair and this is what the look came out to be similar gold colors but they are different and it goes to show us that even though some things are similar or look alike they could also be different because if you look I have two gold but if you look closely you'll see one has like a shift and the other one is the one looks like it has silver one look like it has pink in it so this is what the colors look like together. I put them together so you can see the difference. If you can see the difference. <laughs> they are so pretty. Again, I'm just showing you the palette and I'll show you the colors in the palette to see so you can see what it looks like. See in the palette, it looks so close. This one is on my left. This one is on my right, which is your left this one is on my right which is your left and the first color is called Hosaka castle and the second one is boogeyman but it is pretty pretty the encouraging word for today is unconditional love unconditional love always remember self is first love self plenty take care of self and i'm just showing you again what the two colors look like they are similar bye just a different angle so you can see what the two colors look like similar but different never the same